Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. In this short tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can create these graphic banners from scratch directly in PowerPoint. So let's jump straight into it. We'll start off on a blank slide and the first thing we want to do is add a rectangle. So we'll go up to drawing, click on this rectangle, click anywhere and drag. We want this to be about two centimeters high and about this wide. I'll now fill it in in this red standard color and give it no outline. I want the text to be fig tree, 40 and extra bold. So I'll click in the text box, type fig tree, extra bold, set it to 40 and then type. I also want it to be rotated by minus 10 degrees and to do that we can go to format shape, the size and property options, check the rotation and you can either type 350 or you can type minus 10. I now want this aligned to the middle so I can go to arrange, align, center. I'll now make the second part that's a pattern and goes underneath this banner. To do that we can press ctrl D to duplicate this. It doesn't need to have any text in, so Control A and delete. I'll drag this out of the way for now. I'll set it to have no rotation, so zero. And a feature that I don't use very often, because most things aren't very good in it, is the pattern fill. But I'm going to select this, vertical stripes dark, because it suits this graphic design. I'll now click on this vertical center spot and drag it out slightly. Right click and center back. I'll now hold down shift and drag it up. And then you can use the cursor keys for some fine adjustment. I'm also going to make these a little less tall. So I'm going to set the height on both of them to 2.3. Again, we can use the cursor keys for some fine adjustment. And also you can press control, use the mouse wheel to zoom in to get some close fine adjustment needed there. That looks good. We can now make the next line. Click on this, control D, type in our text. I want this to be a little bit wider, so I can hold down control and shift and then click and drag from this vertical middle point. Then drag this up to position. It's looking good. Control D while I'm clicked on this back part will duplicate this. Put it roughly into position, make it a little bit longer, right click and center back. Now I can click on this, Control D to duplicate, drag down, type in our text. Drag it into position. Control D on this part again. Drag this into position, right click and center back. And then for our last part, I made a slight variation, so Control D with this. I'm going to set the rotation back to zero to make this easier to work with. Remove my text for now. And then to add in this part that I added at the end, I'm just going to click on triangle, click anywhere, hold down shift while clicking on this circle and dragging to the right. And that will rotate clockwise in 15 degree increments. Then we can position this in the corner. To align it, I can click on the triangle, then click on the rectangle, go to arrange, align left, and arrange, align bottom. Now I can size it down so it fits on the height of the rectangle by clicking on this center point. And now adjust it to the amount of angle I want, which is about that. Realign it to the left. Now we need to make sure before we combine these that we've selected the rectangle first and the triangle second. And the reason for that is when you add some rotation, PowerPoint will remember the rotation when you combine the shapes. The rotation of this is currently zero. And the rotation of this is currently 90. So I want to click on this first, hold down shift, then click on the triangle, then go to shape format, merge shapes, combine. And now when we go to rotation, it will be zero. And I can enter minus 10, so it's the same as the others. 
and then drag it into position. I can now click on it and type the text. And there we have our banner. I can now select all of this, Control G to group, and then arrange a line center, arrange a line middle, and it's in the middle of the slide. This looks good, but you can ungroup by right clicking and choosing group ungroup or hitting Control Shift G and then make any fine adjustments you like. And at any point, change any of the text you want or any of the colors easily. Finally, we'll quickly add a video in the background from the stock library. And to do that, we can go to insert video stock videos. I typed celebrate chose this one, insert. I want to align it to the top left. So I can go to home, arrange, align left, arrange, align top. Now we want to make this full screen. So I can click on this bottom corner circle, drag it right to the edge and it will snap. Then right click and choose center back. Then we just need to go to slideshow and make sure that show media controls is turned off. This will mean that as you use the mouse cursor on the screen, the playback controls for the video won't appear at the bottom of the video. So now when we run this, great, a powerful graphic created from scratch directly in PowerPoint. If you'd like to download the source files for any of these presentations, there is a link to my Patreon in the description below. And if you want to become a PowerPoint expert and make stunning slides, then watch the next video. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.